All right, everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I have finally completed the transition from my old tool bag, which is the Milwaukee Pack Out 10 inch. It has served me well for several years, and um, now that I think back on it, uh, it was a really good tool bag. It was exceptional when you are working on site because I didn't have to open up the bag and I could see exactly where my tools were at. But uh, as I said in my live stream a couple days ago, the, my complaints for this guy are the fact that although it's got a wide base, it can and does tip, especially in a car. I've, I've had to pick up my tools more than once. And also, when it's an open area like this and I'm in a hospital, people like to just grab things out of my tool bag and start playing around with them. I, I'm not kidding. Like People will grab a, a pair of tools. They'll, they'll pull this out and they'll be like looking at it and then they'll put it back someplace else where I never I never wanted it. So, it came time. Although this one here has the pack out cleats and everything, I really dig this tool bag. I have chosen a new replacement. And for me, I was actually going for weight. I don't know if I've achieved that goal <laughs> because <laughs> this is a heavy little bag. But, you guys will see, I have everything planned out exactly how I want it. So, this is the uh, Vito Propac uh, Tech MC bag. So, this is the Tech Series, the MC. I also have the taller, the MCT bag, which is right over behind me. I've decided not to use that one because, again, I'm trying to save weight. But, um, come to find out, there was very little difference between the MC and the MCT. So I'm going to end up giving away the MCT bag coming up this weekend. I'm going to let you guys know how I'm going to do a drawing and then, you know, we'll, we'll go forward from there. I'm also going to be giving away some other things, so stay tuned. This weekend we will do a live uh, video where we go ahead and tell everybody all the stuff that I'm going to give away and uh, we're going to do it. So the MCT is uh, the one we're giving away. This is the uh, new one that I just purchased. It's the MC. It's it's only about a foot tall by, you know, let's find out. How tall is it? Well, yep, that was about right. It's about a foot tall. And it looks like with all the gadgets and accruedments on the outside, it's about 12 inches across. And as far as depth, it is about nine inches deep. So it's really a small tool bag, but the things that really attracted me to it was the fact that it's so well built. There's options, there's accessories, there's things like even these little D-rings here. You think they wouldn't have a purpose, but I'll show you in a minute, they absolutely do. So it's got nice heavy duty zippers, everything, rivets, It's it's got uh, padding. I'm telling you, everything about this bag is nice and heavy duty. And I am really good with my tools, but at the same time, I really dig something that's gonna hold up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. Um, the little pouch here in the front, I have a little piece of Velcro. Actually, it's not that little. It's, it's a, kind of a, a large piece of Velcro. You never know when you could use some of this uh, adhesive right here. So, I've also got my uh, wire jumpers. I've got uh, negative and positive wire jumpers. I went over those in my uh, live stream. I do have some business cards in there because I like to be able to grab something nice and quick for people when they ask. Um, let's see. So I end up putting my box cutter on the outside because I do end up using that quite a bit. I've got a, a flashlight for quick and easy accessibility. I do not know if this little guy right here is gonna stay here because one would think that it might pop off, but it, it's really not that easy. So we'll see how that goes. That might end up inside the bag. And for the back side, you guys know I went over the strap and how nice and heavy duty the strap was. My reasoning for why I really dig that strap. Look what I did. This right here is a uh, strap for holding tape. Usually it's electrical tape or Teflon tape. But you can see what I did is somebody else had this idea online and uh, they clipped it on their Milwaukee bit kit. And I said, you know something? That is an awesome idea. There's no real reason why that has to be inside the bag. So I went right along with it. I did the same exact thing. Now I'm using those D-rings that I mentioned before that aren't really useful. And underneath this, I have some hearing protection right in here. This Milwaukee bit kit, it was probably the coolest bit kit that I've seen out there. This is the 48 
32-4495. And this is the premium bit kit. I absolutely love it. Um, only thing I might do is I might take out some of these square drives and put some regular drill bits in here. I'm, I might actually move it around, condense a little bit, and put some drill bits in there because I, I do have some drill bits. Or what I'll do is I'll get another one of these Milwaukee bit kits and hang it from the other side, just like this. And um, that way there I'll have drill bits on one side, one side bits. Who knows? We'll see. But um, I have the extensions. So I've got that extension and I've got this one impact rated. Easy and quick to get because I use those very often. And I've got my marking utensils. So those are right here on the outside. Inside the bag, ta-da, take a look at that. I was able to fit most of the things that I really wanted to. So you can see here some of the stuff that I did not want. Um, various things that are redundant, things that I don't need. I will actually find something to hold consumables, maybe a little bag that I can strap to the side. Um, I, cause I, if these are inside the bag, there's a chance that they'll leak. And if they leak, they'll get the bag dirty and my tools will get mucky. So I'm gonna get an external bag for the consumables for all of this. So you can see a lot of extra stuff that I apparently did not really need. So that takes me back to the bag. Guys, I have almost everything in here. This guy might not stay, although I really love that screwdriver. You can see I have my chicken stick. Um, the Allens just kind of fit right up here in the front. I don't grab those that often, but at the same time, they kind of protect everything else. And they shield the front of the bag from anything that might perforate it. So that worked out really well. I've got my little holder right here for bits. Um, my wire strippers, I, I put all my um, pliers over here and a lot of my screwdrivers over here. So I basically separated my bag right in half. And my brush, one of the things I use the most often right there in the middle. I did utilize these pouches up here. You can see I've got some shrink tube and I've got some uh, bits. There you go, maybe see it in there. So I got some bits and some shrink tube up in that pouch. Nothing too major. But uh, you'll notice that it all zips up, nice and neat. I love it. Next side. So here, ouch, wow, that bag is heavy. This side is the side that I actually changed some stuff, all right? I told you guys that I was going to probably change over my bit driving system to a Milwaukee M12, and that's the kind of person I am. I don't take very long to change my mind. I actually went out and I got the Milwaukee M12 driver. So the cool thing about the Milwaukee M12 is it has this w number one speed. You can hear it. Doesn't sound like it's very fast. So number one is very useful for medical equipment because as you guys know, it's really easy for a really powerful impact to snap off heads. So this one here, a number one, it actually is not moving that fast and it's it's kind of like a uh, torque limited feature. It's designed for fine detail work, which medical equipment, come on, it's, it's kind of written for it. So it fits in the bag like so, nice and easy. That bit kit that I mentioned, it comes with a whole bunch of extra bits. So some really small ones, metric and standard, um, very cool. And it's in a nice little kit. Look at this. I pop this guy in here and it just sits there in the corner of my bag. I use all sorts of bits all the time. Even if I got a double up, I'll use one and I give another driver to somebody else. Happens all the time. So I've got my cleaning utensils, my, my hammer, my flashlights, some lubricants and some precision screwdrivers, my grabber. You see I've got a, a strap, a ratchet strap. It's not a ratchet, it's actually just a, a tension strap. But as I explained in the live stream, I, I do use those quite a bit. And I've got right here a spare bit driver. Again, redundancy and the ability to uh, empower somebody else in the field. Give them something to do while I'm doing my thing, you know? So that all really fits in here quite nicely. And my craftsman kit that I mentioned, um, this is the uh, kit that's got all the sockets. I really love this kit. Of course, it's going with me. Um, although there is a bunch of redundancy in the bits, 
And right here is my GTS uh, zip tie gun. I love that thing. And it's right here in the front because all I gotta do is grab this, grab this, and I'm good. So everything does have a plan. Oh, and you can see back there is my uh, lock picking set. So everything does have a place in the bag and it all fits in a very nice professional package. It's nice and convenient and quaint because when I go into a doctor's office or when I go on site, I want to have something that looks professional but at the same time um, is minimalist. Weight is everything. Given this bag probably weighs a lot but I can do almost everything with what's in this bag, along with some of the consumables that I'll be uh, tagging along. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put a little pouch or something on here, and that's gonna be my consumables. I'll figure it out. I've also got the D-rings over here where I can, I can suspend a little pouch of consumables over here. Um, I don't know, haven't really thought it out too much yet, but I just finished putting this bag together. I wanted to show you guys. This is the Vito Tech MC, and I'll tell you right now that this, for a road biomed as a grab bag, I can do probably 95 plus percent of all my work with everything that's in this bag. Um, it's everything that I really wanted. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned because this weekend we are gonna be doing a veto bag giveaway plus I might just give away my, uh, my, uh, some of my other stuff. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to be piling stuff up, and uh, probably Sunday, I'm thinking, is the day that we're going to do the video. We're going to give some stuff away, live on the air. Let's do it, okay? Thanks for watching, guys.